Hello and welcome to this video, also dealing with how we can speed up our work with Git a little bit. And in the previous video we learned about aliases and how powerful they can really be. And there is also another project hosted uh, on GitHub that also allows you to be even a little bit more quicker uh, to, to stage unstage files and handle uh, certain situations in your Git repository. Uh, just to motivate you a little bit for, for, for now, so I have on the right side now the, the demo repository we have been working with and all the time I, just dealing, I am just dealing with one file. But in, uh, <clears throat> in your project you will find other situations uh, like having multiple files edited For example, I just, uh, so this is the last file, <laughs> I just want to touch. And I hit S, the alias for git status. And now you have uh, five untracked files, for instance. And in your project, you do not want to go ahead and say uh, that you uh, want to add all or stage all of these files. You just want uh, one or two files. The thing is that you uh, would need to type each of those uh, file names to stage those files or even worse uh, we, we also handle with directories right so we have maybe this file lives in a, a large directory structure and then you would need to type the whole path to the file to add this file and this can be a little bit unproductive um, it would be nice if we have a nice tool uh, allowing us to stage just one or two or a small range of those files and commit them later on. And this, uh, therefore, there is a project called RapidGit. And let's go to uh, the documentation page of RapidGit to see what RapidGit can do for us here. Welcome to the home of RapidGit. This is a documentation page uh, you uh, can use to get started and you can also look up every command since I will just show you the very most important commands that are most important for me in this case, in this video. So you no know, worries, uh, the documentation gets you covered with everything you need. And if you click on the get, on the get started page, you will notice that there are a uh, a few uh, prerequisites you would need uh, concerning the bish or bash or zsh version uh, that you are using. But if you are use Git for Windows, uh, you should be covered. Um, you should be uh, should have uh, one of the latest versions of the bash installed already, and you can just uh, clone the Git repository of Rapid Git to get uh, to start get starting working with Rapid Git. And I will now just install RapidGit and integrate this into my dot .file configuration and then I will show you a few commands. Back in our terminal I will bring up uh, my users directory with Visual Studio Code. Users, Gregor. So just to we are add the uh, RapidGit configuration to my to my dot .files configuration and therefore I just change into the directory dot .files and here inside of the dot .files I create a directory called plugins and inside of this plugin directory I will just uh, clone the repository of this and therefore I just use the uh, terminal uh, command here in Visual Studio Code by right-clicking this, uh, this directory. I open up the terminal and then now you will see that there is a kind of an integrated terminal in Visual Studio Code as well. Uh, it defaults to PowerShell. Uh, you can also configure it to being the, uh, bash, uh, the bash shell as well. Uh, but if I type git minus minus version, you should see that uh, also the PowerShell has access to the git command. And uh, the cool thing about this is I'm already in the plugins directory here and now I can just say git clone and I will just paste the URL and it turns out that the git clone command was copied as well, so I do not need this. And now I just will clone the RapidGit repository. This will create a directory, RapidGit. 
And you, you will see this is the same as in our uh, bash configuration as well. So inside of the rapid git repository you have one critical file uh, if you want to use rapid git in your bash and this is the rapid git.sh file. And to use this you just need to add uh, a source entry to your uh, bootstrap file. And in the bootstrap file I just will add a new section, rapid git, and then I just will copy down this command to save a little bit time. And now I will say dot .files, I want to go to plugins, and inside of plugins there is rapid git, and there inside of the rapid git folder we will find the rapidgit.sh file. So this is everything we need uh, to set rapidgit up in the, uh, in the basic configuration. And now we can go back to our terminal and start to use rapidgit. In order to use rapidgit, you might need to restart your terminal. Uh, but if you do not want to do this, you can also use the source command inline of your current terminal session. And then you can add the uh, rapid git uh, shell script via the sourcing the bootstrap file once more. And if everything works correctly, you just do not see any output of this command. And now you should be able to run a command called rapid. And rapid will list you a bunch of commands you can use. And you see it's a lot. And basically it covers every uh, git command that you know. Yeah? There is, for instance, a git a rapid status command. There is a rapid track command. It's the same like a git add. There is an unstage command. Uh, this is a kind of a handy thing. Uh, instead of using this uh, reset head soft thing, we can also say just unstage file. And then there's also merge, push, uh, check out the branch command and you can even create custom commands. This is a little bit a more advanced topic. Maybe we come to this a little bit later in a, uh, in a video. So just leave me a comment if you uh, want to know about the API of the custom command and then I will do yet another video for you. So uh, I am now in, the, uh, in our basic demo repository and still we have uh, some untracked files. And now we want to use a rapid command. And the first command that I want to show you is the rapid status command. Typing rapid status will give you also the git status, but it enhances the output by putting a number on each line of the output, whether it is a a directory or a file. Both, uh, both will match. And uh, this uh, allows you to just have a more quicker access to each of those files. And imagine that you now want to start tracking the third and the fifth file here. You easily can say rapid track three and five. And this will add only those files to your index. And using rapid status once more will now show you that there are two files in the, in the index and three files left in the untracked file, so in the working directory. And now imagine that you only want to do a commit for one file, but now there are two files in the, in the index already. Uh, rapid unstage gets you covered. You can just say rapid unstage the second file and this will remove the e.txt from the index. Now I clear the, the, the terminal and if you now type rapid status once more this will show you that only the cc.txt file remains in the index. So you can see how easily it is to stage an unstage file with rapid with rapid git. It allows you just by adding an index to each of those files to uh, rapidly access those file names or paths. And now for instance you could do uh, a commit by just using one of our alias git commit minus 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 message 
and can say, okay, edit cc.txt file. So, uh, this is one thing you can use. Uh, now imagine that you just uh, yeah, change something inside of the cc.txt edit. We have just added it to our repository, some new content. And now writing rip status, rapid status one more time, you will see that you have now some uh, yeah, modified files. And now you can also use rapid git to stage those changes. So you want to use rapid track only for untracked files. And files that are all already inside of the repository, then you can use the rapid stage command. And rapid stage will simply say, okay, add the first file to the, C, uh, to, to the change set of the first file to the repository. And now this has been added, and once more rapid status, you will see that this change is ready to be committed. And now we can uh, do our commit, uh, place some content inside cc.txt, and now you're also done once more. So this is a really, a really, really handy thing. And now imagine you can also uh, use an alias for rapid status to shorten this uh, up yeah, or shorten this even more up and there are there already is an aliases file provided in the rapid git directory I just show up the Visual Studio code once more so inside of rapid git there is a file alias.rapid-git.sh and you will see just a few ideas how you can uh, use uh, a few aliases for rapid git. You, of course, you can create your very own, but you could also just source this alias.rapid-git.sh file inside of your bootstrap file, and then you, are, you, you have access to those aliases as well. So, now there are a few other commands rapid, typing rapid will just show us those commands. There's also a rapid branch command and now you have the idea how rapid git works, right? And if you type rapid branch, you will get the output of git branch, but you have also access just to the indexes of uh, the list of all of those branches. And if you now want to check out the feature slash a branch, you can Instead of using the git checkout command, you can also say rapid checkout one, and this will immediately bring you to the feature slash a branch. So this is also a very handy thing. If you have a huge amount of branches listed, uh, then this rapid branch command may be helpful for you as well. And the same uh, is, oh, and there are also, uh, two other commands. There's also the rapid merge command and the rapid rebase command. Uh, those will also work as uh, the rapid checkout command. If you are in a certain branch, let's let's just check us um, uh, what we've done so far. There is the feature slash a branch. Okay, I will just. Uh, check out, or I'm already on the feature slash a branch, and now let's say I want to rebase uh, the feature slash a branch on top of master, then I can do the following. I can say rapid, rapid branch. This will tell me that master has the index two, and now I can say rapid rebase two, and this will just bring up uh, the, the rebase procedure and then uh, the rebase procedure is gone, uh, will, will be executed. And in this uh, case, we do not e even have any conflict. So lucky me <laughs> that I do not have to resolve uh, any conflict. So hopefully this keeps, gives you a few ideas how Rapid Git can improve your Git workflow even a little bit more and how you can even shorten up your work time uh, using a version control system like Git by just using such a cool tool like RapidGit. 
So I hopefully you enjoyed this course so far and hopefully you find RapidKit helpful as well and I wish you a lot of fun by using all of these tools. By the way, if you still have any question about the video or if you have any further question, please do not hesitate to ask me and leave me a comment below. Thank you.